Unit 2 Polynomials, Lesson 6, The Distributive Property. So we're going to continue on with some more examples of the distributive property. So as I mentioned in the previous examples, I find it helpful to put in the arrows like that, just to show what I'm distributing. So remember, the monomial that you're distributing is only going to the bracket that is behind it. So th this A goes to this bracket, this A goes to this bracket, and then you just do, do the multiplication. So A times 2A is 2A squared. So an A times an A, you're adding the exponents. So 1 plus 1 is 2. A times negative 1 is negative A plus A times A. So A times A is A squared. A times 1 is A. So after you've done that, you can start collecting your like terms. So we've got an A squared and an A squared there and a negative a and a negative, oh, sorry, a positive a over there. So then I rewrite it, 2a squared plus a squared, take away a plus a. So this is like saying 2 plus 1. So 2a squared plus 1a squared gives me 3a squared, and negative a plus a equals 0. So I can leave it like that. Next one. I put in my arrows, so this 4x goes to the first bracket, this negative 2x goes to the second bracket. So 4x times x equals 4x squared. 4x times 2 equals 8x. Negative 2x times 7 is negative 14x and negative 2x times negative 2x is positive 4 so the 2 and the 2 get multiplied together to give me 4 x and x and it's positive because a negative times a negative gives you a positive once you've done that collect your like terms so x squared go together and the x's go together so 4x squared plus 4x squared plus 8x take away 14x. So 4x squared plus 4x squared is 8x squared. Um, positive 8 take away 14 is negative 6x. So let me just keep going. So I put in my arrows. So the 5 goes to the first bracket, the 6 goes to the second bracket. So that will give me 15a plus 20c. 6 times 2a is 12a, and that is minus 18c. Collect like terms, so I've got two terms that have an A, so that is all I'm collecting. So 15A plus 12A plus 20C, oh wait, never mind, there's 20C and 18C. So those can be collected as well. So 15 plus 12 is 27, and then 20 take away 18, is 2c. Okay. All right, so we're going to keep going. So the 2 and the negative 5 goes here. So I'm going to start going a little faster. If you want to try them on your own, what you can do is pause the video right now, um, do them the rest on your own, and then you can press play and just double check that you are doing them correctly. So I'm just going to do them without talking so much. Okay. 
so your final answer should be negative 26m take away 20n okay so again you can try pausing the videos to try to do them on your own so that you're not always following along so i put in my arrows and i'm just going to go through these quickly so you can just check at the end if you've done them correctly Collect, collect, and simplify. And then for this one, what you'll notice is that you have a negative 12y and a positive 12y, so those are going to cancel out. And you should get negative 2x. Okay, so for this one, we've got two sets of brackets. So remember, according to bed mass, we have to do the brackets first. So again, if you want to try this on your own, what you can do is pause the video right now and you can um, work on it on your own and then press play again to see if you've done it correctly. Okay, so at the midpoint you should have a 5 and a 2y minus 5 in bracket. So this five is also going to get distributed. So you're gonna do this, the distribution twice. So the first one is the two and then the five once you've simplified what's inside of the bracket. So that's gonna leave you with 10y minus 25. Okay, two more to go. So again, we've got two sets of brackets here. So the first thing we're gonna do is do the internal portion first because according to bed mass before we can do any multiplying you have to do what's in the bracket so this negative 3 is going to stay put and then I'm going to be left with 2p plus 4 take away 3p so it's important that I do these arrows because it reminds me that this 2 only goes to the bracket it does not go to the negative 3p uh, before I distribute, I want to just keep going inside of the bracket and just simplify anything. So we have like terms here. So the 2p and the 3p, which is going to be negative p plus 4. And now that I have my bracket simplified, I can start distributing. So that negative 3 goes to the negative p. So negative 3 times negative p, I have two negative numbers, so that's going to be a positive. So 3 times p is 3p. Negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12. Okay, last one. Um, so again, if you want to try this one on your own, you can press pause, uh, pause the video now um, and then figure it out and then press play again and then compare what your answers are. So in this case, we've got a fraction and sometimes people get a little scared of working with fractions. So if you need to do anything on a separate piece of paper, I'm going to be doing some calculations over here just to kind of help you uh, with what you're doing. So 1 fourth times 8x is like saying 1 over 4 times 8x, which is equal to 8x over 4, which is equal to 2x. So if you're comfortable with doing it in your head, you can do it at this step. If not, do that on the side and that should make your life a little easier. The next one is 1 fourth times 3. So this is like saying uh, a whole number of 3 is like saying 3 over 1. So if it helps you to write it like that, that is like saying 3 over 4. So that is your fourth number. Um, the 1 third is getting multiplied by 6x. So this is like saying 6x over 3, which is 2x. And then your final one, 1 third times 2 is like saying 2 over 1. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, gives you 2 thirds. And so you're, those are your four numbers that you're working with. Um, once you get that done, you can start collecting like terms. So 2x 
plus 2x plus 3 over 4 plus 2 over 3. So that can be simplified further. So 2x plus 2x gives you 4x. And then we're adding, um, we're adding fractions, so we need common denominators. So I like to set up the fractions ahead of time and then just insert my numbers. So the lowest common denominator with 4 and 3 is 12. To go from 4 to 12, I have to multiply the numerator by 3. To go from 3 to 12, I have to multiply the numerator by 4. So that's 9, that's going to become 8. And then my last step is simplifying. So 9 plus 8, so I'm adding my, <clears throat> my numerators. So 9 plus 8 is 17, and that's over 12, and that can't be reduced, so that's your final answer. So this lesson is done, so I would like you to work on the worksheet that is called the distributive property. Uh, please make sure you are checking your answers. This is the last lesson of Unit 2. Tomorrow you will have a test.